Welcome back to Southern RV TV. I'm your host, Barry, and today we have the Venture RV Sonic 220 VRB. This is an awesome little ultralight tandem axle travel trailer that comes in under 5,000 pounds, which makes it towable by lots of small SUVs on the market today. Let's get right into it and see what makes it cool. Come on. All right, let's get started right here at the front of the RV. They've equipped it with this electric tongue jack, which we're seeing more and more on these small units. This has two 20 pound LP tanks. That's more than the standard one we see on these small RVs on a regular basis here in the industry. Standard battery box, but what's more, they've given us a battery disconnect, which is something that is not that standard on such small RVs. Now, one thing I'd really like to point out and make notice of is that this front cap is fiberglass, but it's not just the front cap. This is one single sheet of fiberglass that runs up and over the top and all the way into the rear cap. What does that mean for you? Well, there's no rubber roof. So that means there's no clean condition seal of a rubber roof. However, you do still have to check the die core at all your seams and gaps every now and again and make sure that that's okay. But that makes keeping it up a lot easier. As we push around the corner, one of the things we notice is that we have these pass-through pass storage right here at the front. Big baggage doors with slam latches and magnetic catches. As you can see, it goes all the way through, and that's pretty big for a trailer of this class. Now, the jacks are just standard manual jacks, but I actually like those a lot. They're certainly cheaper to replace if you do have an accident and mess it up. And let's face it, some of us has had that happen. <laughs> Pushing forward, we have our aircraft style steps that make contact with the ground, making for a nice stable entry getting into the camper. They put a screenshot on this door. The screenshot is actually kind of a neat feature. So if the screen door is open, notice how it automatically closes. It's just a little bungee that pulls it in. I like that just because it keeps the bugs out and it keeps the kids from accidentally leaving everything wide open. They've given us some pretty fancy rims from Venture RV. I think those are pretty cool. And then it's sitting up on a standard leaf spring style suspension. So nothing special to talk about there, but we do have a power awning. You can see we're up under it now. It's a decent size one and it's LED lit. So you can have your tunes running out here at night thanks to the outside marine grade speakers. And because it's lit by that LED bar, you're gonna be able to see and cook and do whatever else you need to do. Speaking of cooking, this thing has an outside kitchen. It's right here at the back of the RV. I'm gonna duck up under it, lift this little latch, pull this out, and let's latch that so it doesn't go sliding back in. But look what we're equipped with here. We have some storage, a stainless steel basin sink, and it's even got a two burner stove hiding there from Suburban. Now, they haven't forgot about keeping the beverages outside. They've given us a nice small electric fridge, which that's gonna bump up your total refrigeration capacity in this unit because the inside fridge is not huge either thanks to the small nature of this RV. Now, one of the things that they've done is this is where you would normally put a TV, but since we didn't option it in with one, the manufacturer has given us this kind of organizational system. These slide move, I can see hooking up all sorts of different things there and using it for different purposes. At the back of the RV, we see that we're prepped for a backup cam. That's pretty easy to self-install if you wanted to. It's a Furion system. It's all wired and ready to go. Spare tire on our bumper tube. And then down low behind that, we have the exterior shower. So if we ever open up that hatch, what we're gonna see is just a shower handle and hot and cold on, which is actually really nice because you can hose off bikes and all sorts of other stuff with it that get muddy on adventures when you go out during the day. Pushing on to the off door side, we see that slide that we mentioned, and then our power supply for shore power hooks up right here. 
This one is a 30 amp service camper. So pretty simple to power up and run. And then yeah, right there at the back, we've got all of our sewer hookups. Moving back up towards the front, we come across to that pass-through storage that we saw from the other side. Guys, let's hop up inside and check it out. Stepping up inside the 220 VRB, I am in what would be, I guess, the living room. Remember, this is a small camper. It's lightweight. It's not huge, but the ceiling on this, because it's barreled thanks to that fiberglass roof, is highest in the center and then slopes down in the front and in the back. So instead of being barreled like this, it's barreled front to back. So that's how it lets rainwater off. But as I push towards the front, you notice how the ceiling gets closer to my head. I never quite hit it though. But now that we're at the front of the vehicle, I want to point out that we have our sofa here. And that sits directly across from the TV, which we'll look at in a little bit. But what's neat about this sofa is what's hiding behind it. If you'll notice, we have standard closet storage with hanging racks, as well as some flat storage up above. And this couch is a jackknife. So what that means is if I lift up on the bottom of it, and notice there's a little bit of storage hiding up under there as well, and then pull flat. That is going to allow me to unlatch and drop down our Murphy bed. It flips out like so, mattress flips over, and bam, queen bed right there with that beautiful window letting in all kinds of light. I think that's awesome, personally. I love the fact that you can have the light streaming in in the morning. And if you're in a beautiful campsite with a view of the mountains or the beach, you can wake up and see it. The fact that we've got windows on either side of the bed means that when we have nice weather, we can open those up and let a cross breeze right through here. Now, this camper is equipped with a slide. That's this right here, the slide is out. And in it, we have this U-shaped dinette. This is great. This can seat a whole family if needs be. It's a big dinette, but what's more is if you have a guest, this table can lower out, pads can slide in, and we have a guest bed. That makes this camper capable of sleeping four people with ease. Across from that, we have our kitchen. This is pretty slick. I like this kitchen a lot. It's got a nice big counter space a nice great covered sink so that when we're doing dishes we have a spot to let them dry but also we have extensions for the counter if need be as well and one thing i'd like to point out that's kind of cool hidden in the end here is this hinge door that opens up and it reveals our control center and check this out this is a wireless solar controller so this has solar on board that's pretty slick in and of itself now Pushing into the kitchen a little further, we see we've got plenty of storage in the form of cabinets up high, drawers down low, and then at the end here, we have a three burner stove with an oven beneath and a microwave up top. They've equipped it with a Furion 12 volt refrigerator. No worries, it's got a nice big freezer compartment as well, and we mentioned that outside fridge, so that's really gonna expound upon your refrigerated space in a unit like this. Our TV and entertainment center, we have the TV up high, a little IRV Bluetooth uh, head unit there, which is gonna allow us to connect our phones and play music, and a pantry. This pantry is a little deceiving. It goes all the way over to that side, so it does tuck in. You gotta reach around the corner to get your stuff, but that's because it's just behind this portion of the slide here. Another cool thing that Venture is doing is equipping all of their units with the LevelMate Pro. There's an app you can download. This just simply helps you designate when your camper's level by showing you on your phone. So it doesn't have a leveling system, but if you were to pull it up on blocks or pads and level it front to back, that's gonna help you get a lot closer to level. Also here, we have some really deep closet space. Again, more pantry. I like that a lot. There's plenty of it, it's up here too. I mean, that's kind of awesome. Up above me, we've got our air conditioner. This is a single AC that's direct dump. This isn't a big RV, so that's gonna be plenty to cool off the whole thing. Behind me, the bathroom. I think this bathroom is awesome. Remember how I had talked about how it slopes, so notice the ceiling's getting closer to me. 
Still not a problem though. I can fit in this glass enclosure shower just fine. I'm loving the amount of counter space that's on the sink here. They've even given us a medicine cabinet as well. And that outside kitchen that we looked at, they've given us back all the storage up above it in the form of a closet on this side. It's got a hanging rod in there and a shelf in the back. So storage in this unit is certainly plentiful. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this tour of the Sonic 220 VRB by Venture RV. It's on display at Southern RV now. You can visit us at southernrv.com. Until next time, happy camping.